Hi there, everybody. So, this was the most interesting game that I played last night. Um, I played a lot of games. And um, this one was pretty good. So, I pick Kaeltas, my favorite hero in the game. Probably you know that already. I would rate him as like the third or the fourth. Probably the fourth best hero in the game. So, like, it's Hooktusk, it's Eudora, it's Moev, and then it's my boy Kaeltas. And then it's Yoxaran, and then it's Rafam. And, okay. Kaeltas is really good. And that's just because of his consistency. You want to play the normal curve. You want to just buy a minion on the first turn, level up the second turn, buy two minions, buy two minions, buy one minion level, and then you can either level or buy three minions. And if you level, you buy three minions next turn. It's pretty simple, straightforward, and um, just good playstyle. If you open with token generator like I did here, even better, amazing. Then you can keep one extra minion. Especially if it's a Murloc token generator, then you can even play Murlocs and force Murlocs. He's a very good hero at playing Murlocs because let's say you go for the War Leader once you're tier 2, you can just buff it. You can buff Murkai. You can have like a very powerful board that can scale into you getting like a Felfin, a Seer. You buff those as well. You get big, you get strong, you level up to 5, you find Bran, you play Murlocs. Bam, that's it. That's why I like Kaelta so much. It's explosive, it's powerful. It's basically a more consistent Yorkshire run. I'm leveling even without looking at uh, what others are doing. I don't, I don't really care. I just want to level, level, level. Um, yeah, I'm trying to like see what people open with, but it's not really that important. We have a Flurgle in the lobby, but I think Kael'thas is better at forcing Morlocks than Flurgle. That's the interesting part. As much as I like Flurgle, especially in this meta game, because playing and forcing Murlocs is the best available strategy in every single lobby where Murlocs are not banned. Um, the best at forcing Murlocs is Hooktask. The second best at forcing Murlocs is um, probably Maev, then it's Kael'thas, then it's Rafam. Rings any bells? Yeah, he's the best heroes in the game. Bar Eudora. Eudora plays whatever and like tries to win with like the digging. Ooh, pretty juicy offering here. As much as I like playing Murlocs, you do buy the rats. The rats are better. A lot of people here would consider it a lot more. Now looking at the game again, I feel like I should have frozen. Why? The Murloc is good. The cannon is good. Probably should have frozen. Guarantees two good minions. If I get offered something better, sure. But... Uh, yeah, I don't know why I didn't freeze there. I felt like um, I can get offered better minions. I was probably like looking for a triple on the rat pack. I was looking for a spawn. I was looking for a war leader, but maybe maybe a bomb. But like these two minions are good. I should have definitely froze. Still gonna win the fight comfortably. That's again the power of Kaeltas. I'm Yogg's bigger brother. Well, he has to get lucky. I just pick what I want to buff. <clears throat> I don't remember exactly what I was offered. I think it was a spawn. So I was pretty happy with it. You're yeah, spawn and Morkai. Saved. But, yeah, mistake there. Kind of mistake. Like, imagine if I had Frozen, I could still get offered spawn and Morkai. And then I would have double Morkai, spawn, and the cannon. And what you would do here is you would buy... I don't know what you would buy. Because I would want all four of them. I would probably buy Spawn and then buy the Cannon. Next turn, buy the Murkai and buff it. And then freeze again and buy another Murkai. There has to be a more efficient way of playing it. And I'm trying to figure it out. Maybe you just buy one Murkai on seven gold and you let the other one go. But I really want the Spawn, I really want the Cannon, I really want one of the Murkais. I guess you can skip the Cannon. You're strong enough to skip the Cannon. So you can go spawn Murkai and like freeze the second Murkai, buy the second Murkai. Yeah, I guess you would skip the cannon. But still, we should have frozen there for extra options. Again, comfortable flights. Two rats spawn Murkai. I'm just like way too strong for this lobby. When you are strong like this, you should just up, up, up. Level as much as you can. Don't go too greedy, like don't go to six. Because then you're going to start losing fights. Just as long as you feel like you're going to win the next fight, up. This is pretty interesting. Um, yeah, you want to cycle the free free, but you don't want to buff it. So 
you have to buy either Scallywag or Mekaru. Obviously, Scallywag is just a better Mekaru. And then you have to cycle the um, gamblers. It's fine. It's okay. It's not, not, not amazing. We would have loved the tier 2 there. Here, it could have been helpful to have the um, frozen minions from the previous turns. And yeah, that's how you do it. Like, you buy them, you play them, you sell them, and then you level at the end of the turn so that you're able to use your gold. If you level first, you cannot do it. If you level first by mistake, then you just buy one of the gamblers and... Then it's super bad because you also waste the second gambler. So just don't level first. Don't misplay, okay? Take notes. Let's see if you can stay on top. <clears throat> Still a good position here. I just have a lot of stats. I can play whatever I want. Again, when I'm in a spot where I can play whatever I want, I will prioritize going Murlocs. Because again, the, the highest power level is not like... Like, I don't force Murlocs for no reason. I force Murlocs because they are the strongest. It is what it is. Should they be nerfed? I don't know. They're kind of hard to build. Like, I'm struggling every single game to build Murlocs. War Leader is better than Deflecto bot because he's a Murloc and Deflecto just requires way too much to scale and even if you scale the Deflecto it's still mediocre. Here's super easy turn, you buy the second War Leader because it's good anyways. If you haven't offered War Leader you would buy Zerus here and you freeze the Rat Pack because you will always want to discover a 5 over a 4 in this kind of spot. Could even go for a 6 but like I want to play Murlocs. Murlocs only want to go for a 6 once you're ready full board, otherwise a 5 is just much better. If I would want to play Beasts, let's say if Murlocs are banned or whatever, I would push a 6 here. Why? Because I'm super strong. I'm definitely going to win the next fight, and then I'm going to win the fight after it for sure. Or, or like, even if I lose the next fight after, I take like 5 damage, whatever. You want to make the most out of your discovery. You don't want to make the most out of your discovery when you're 20 health, but when you're full health destroying every single fight you have, you have then you can do this kind of stuff, this kind of play. Everyone's gunning for you. Watch out. Pretty close fight. More close than I expected it to be. I expected to just like dab on my opponent. But it's not the case. Two cannons are pretty good. Cannon is definitely a unit that I have been underrating. At the same time, I managed to get to 14 to my peak MMR 14.6 or whatever it was without generally buying cannons. I was very often just ignoring the cannon. I didn't respect it. Close fight. Very close fight here. Welcome back. How's it going out there? You might freeze for the second more guy. Pramofin is definitely the pick. I don't generally like playing Pramofin here. I like picking it and just holding it. And then play War Leader and Freeze. I think you Freeze, it's a very good duplicate. And you have space for it to replace the guy. Also, next turn, you're 10 gold. Leveling is gonna cost 8. So you want to like level, sell your Scallywag, play the Murloc. And then you have a very good board with like spawn, two big Murlocs, two big Murlocs, one small Murloc, Rat Pack. It's okay. You have the primal fin, you're eyeing up um, getting the brand, and then you just get triples and start uh, doing things. Start going places, you know? This is perfect. Here, by the way, I would have frozen even like a good non Murloc minion, like let's say the four star dragon, but I couldn't get the four star dragon because. Uh, oh, I could, I guess, because I had one empty slot. But like. Um, I froze this since I was Tavern Freeze, so I didn't really get to see that many 4-drops. Regardless, it's it's a freeze for the more guy. But what I'm saying is, when you're this strong, you probably want to level again next turn. When you have 10 gold and leveling costs 8, you have full board, it's fine to just level, sell, buy. Push your advantage. Tavern 5 is so much better than Tavern 4, just minion quality wise. Especially in a lobby where people are fighting to get more locks, you want to get to 5 as soon as you can, if you are strong. This is like a very good game that shows not only how to play Kyltas, but also how to push your advantage. Here, Bronze Warden is very good as well. Maybe I should have considered it more. 
Yeah, you, you always sell the Scallywag. I think I'm buying the Murkai a bit too quickly. I had 80 seconds. Bronze Warden is much better than the Murkai. Bronze Warden becomes a 4 3. With the uh, spawn, it's a 5 3. So he's gonna hit for 5, and then hit for 5 again, and then hit for 2, and then hit for 2. Whereas the Murkai, it's a 12 6, and that's it. And that's why the War Leader is alive. I don't know. Dragon was was, was way, way, way better, but. Maybe because it's a duplicate and because you're gonna force Murlocs and because you're super strong anyways already, it could be okay. I'm still not the biggest fan of this. Uh, even now, I cannot really, I don't really know what to say. But maybe then you could even kick the Murloc, the 6 1, the Tide Hunter, and then keep the Scallywag and go like three Murlocs, Rat Pack, Dragon, Scallywag, and Spawn. And then still try to play Murlocs once you find the brand, but what I'm saying is by buying the dragon, you can play like a sort of menagerie. If you get like one magician, you're like pretty happy about it. Yeah, maybe I'm going Murlocs too, too, too soon here. I don't know, the duplicate of Murloc is good, but without brand, uh, I'm not feeling it. I think the dragon and sell the 6-1 Murloc was the better play. Then you have way more power on the board. And yeah, you miss a duplicate. Who cares? Yeah, this is like a situation where I Let's went more or less a bit too quickly. Stay on top. It's not really a mistake per se, but... This guy is strong. I don't think I would have beaten him even if I went um, the other way. This guy is massive. Here I'm glad I'm 40 health. Because he's gonna hit me for a lot. I don't even know how he managed to get so strong. I think he had like an insane power play turn. Just went completely off the rails. Big hits. Got some fresh recruits for you. Well, now I'm kind of happy that I bought all the Murlocs. Megasaur here is insane. And we don't find it. I'm thinking here, is it ever worth to pivot? No, it's too late for a pivot. We are committed to Murlocs. So now I'm just rolling for the Murlocs. Look, Magician. That Magician would have been really good. And now I missed on the Murloc. Yeah, even in hindsight, I should have bought a Bronze Warden there and I should have bought Magician there. And it would be a better spot for me missing on the discovery of the minion. This looks kind of awkward. I think you sell the small Murloc. It doesn't really help you and the Rat Pack is going to be so good for like the next fight. I mean, I cannot predict Edwin's power level. If I would predict Edwin is like a free win, I would sell the Rat Pack. But... I, I don't know. Patches was pretty low health as well and he hit me for like half my health. So I'm going to go for the safe play. I'm going to go for like not assuming he's a free win. Keep the rat back. Hmm, pretty close. I mean, it's not close, but it's not like a free win. It would have been way weaker without the rat, I think. Could have still won. But it would be like, I don't know, 60%. I'm just guesstimating. I'm not like scientifically telling you a number, by the way. Well, the rat wasn't that amazing. But the Murloc wouldn't be better. Like, look, I broke an important divine shield. And... We lost. <laughs> we would have lost even... Um, harder. If I had a Murloc. I could have been under 10 health here. Still fine. Again, happy I was 40 health. Like, I had insane early game. Got unlucky a bit. Got a very powerful opponent in patches, and bam, 10 health. <laughs> yeah, I was checking at this board to like see if I want the uh, Murzon. Well, here we get some juicy Murlocs. We can finally do something. Yeah, Rat is gonna go out. First discover, that's reasonable. No triple, so I go for the Seer. This looks pretty awkward. I'm looking at my Ev, I see beasts. I'm like, hmm. Do I need this app? Interesting point. I sell this app. 
The reason why I sell this app is I lose too much Murloc power if I have to keep this app. And I'm like, okay, even if he's beasts, we have a really powerful board, we should win this. I don't know, could if I done it in another way? So if I would keep the zap, it would be so much more awkward because you'd have to play them. You'd have to basically end with the Felfin and pl play Seer, sell the Seer, play the Seer, sell the Seer, play the Felfin. And then you would miss the Seer on the Felfin. I still think I missed one Seer on the Felfin. I should have went Felfin first, right? I think I went Seer, I, I think I made a mistake, yeah. I went Seer, Felfin, Seer. I should have went Felfin, Seer, Seer. Yeah, because he has six health, you would have had eight. Small mistake there. You're doing great out there. I mean, these small mistakes add up. Also, I think I played the bigger seer first, right? A bit sloppy. It's pretty late. I'm more intrigued about the, the Bronze Warden play and like just going way too hard on Murlocs. Also that turn five where I didn't freeze. It's interesting to see that I spot some of my mistakes. I didn't realize I would make in the first place. I mean, they're not big. They're not like a throw. They're just like maybe slightly better plays. Anyways, I get lucky here. Actually, I don't get lucky. I mean, I get lucky not to not to die. He could get like a gas coil like there and kill me. <laughs> the tie, I guess, could be considered luck. Now I fight Edwin again, which we barely fought, and. He's, he was lucky versus me, I had like 80%. So I'm gonna assume it's a pretty easy battle now, since I got two more times to get more powerful. That will get you yeah. Now, Omega Sword exactly would be insane. I actually probably shouldn't have even played it. I know the guy, he's not that strong. I probably shouldn't have played Mega Sword here. It's a risk. He beat me last time, that's why I'm afraid. But I got much stronger than two times ago. This is like a com complete wave, complete blunder. It's either plus one, plus one, or wind fury. Taunt is useless. Yeah, I shouldn't have played Megasaur here. What would be risky? Basically, I ha he had one turn to get stronger, and I had two turns, and I was already stronger than him. And I, I used my turns pretty efficiently. It's just scary to play six minions, but you shouldn't think too much of it. I think I should have not played Megasaur. Yeah. I think you can win this thing. Walk over. Shouldn't have played Mega Sword. Pretty big mistake. A lot of people still in the game. Murloc's offered, and we have the Bran. Ooh. Imagine having the Megasaur and the Bran. Another Bran. Yeah, here I'm not sure what I want to do. I really don't want to sell one of my Murlocs to go like Bran is here. Let's say we still had the Megasaur in hand. You would probably sell the 1921. Overselling the Bogargle. Actually, no, no, you sell the Bogargle. Because you have a lot of duplicates. And... Yeah, if you kind of want to triple the Bogargle. And if you sell the Felf in there. And then buff all of the remaining Murlocs. And let's say you want to triple the Bogargle, triple the Murkai. You'll be stopped on doing that. Whereas if you sell the Bogargle... You can just buy more Burgargles in the future and then triple the Burgargle and still get a lot of um, value out of it. So I think that's the play. So yeah, if you want to sell a Murloc here, sell the small Burgargle. Was it worth to sell it now to play Bran's here? Probably not. 
But imagine I still had Megastar in hand, and it would be like amazing. Kind of upset with myself. Depending on whether or not I would hit Poisonous Divine Shield, this would have been huge. Big me stuck. Big me stuck. Let's see how this goes. Positioning is okay. You could also put the bigger Bagargo first. Doesn't really matter that much. I think it's fine either way. Huge chance to win. Bagargo perfectly proking. Pretty sweet. This guy is pretty weak. With a lot of random mechs that don't really do much. Yeah, we put him under 10 health, but we don't kill him. Not even close. Still five players in the game. Good at this. And now we fight the other Mortal player. This is scary. Hmm. I see that the guy has a rock pull. So basically, if I go Bran and Murzan here, I have a chance to triple the rock pull. I have two one in sevens to steal rock pull. And if I hit one of them, I can just buy the other two rock pulls. I'm like, sure, why not? Let's go. Nope. Now we just roll. 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 But Gurgle is good. Sell the egg first. I don't know. Does it matter? Should have I sold the egg there? I could have kept the egg as like one extra gold for later. I don't know if it matters much. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have started by selling the egg. So I should have just played the Felfin, sell the Felfin, roll, play Bagargo. Simpler. Um, I am pretty strong, but if the guy has poisonous slash divine shield slash whatever, he just destroys me here. I still want to triple that because I need Megasaur. Megasaur needs to give me divine shield. So here I'm kind of like um, slightly upset that I missed the opportunity of tripling the Mega Sword when it was offered. Uh, tripling, sorry, of just using it with Bran is what I meant. Since I had the walkover against the dead guy. I played it too safe, but there was no reason to play it safe, so then it was just a mistake. Well, strong board, but he probably won't kill me. So I still have time to get stronger than him. But he's threatening. Now imagine having Poisonous or Divine Shield here. Would be much stronger. So now I fight the powerful patches. He probably didn't get that much stronger because he's playing Pirates. Let's see. Nothing good. Zap is probably better against pirates, right? I think I should have leveled here. I think it was maybe better to level. Not 100% sure. I mean, you definitely level next turn. So maybe it was worth leveling now. I think I didn't level because I was respecting patches. He stayed in the game for a long time. He probably got stronger. I don't think he was as strong for the next fight as he was the first time we played against him. I think the first time we played against him, he was like the nuts for the current turn. And now he's just like, okay-ish. So I still expect to come out uh, victorious out of this. So expecting that, maybe I should have leveled now so that I have more time to roll next turn for Megasaur. Close. Finding the Sears was definitely huge. If I would find the Discovery more like or the Bagargal, which would also be huge. But it's pretty much only those that would help me drastically improve my condition. So yeah, the biggest blunder of the game so far was the Megasaur.
Looking at the lobby, I expect Hook Task to beat my Ev. So basically, next fight, we just play for first and second if we beat Patches here. My, uh, sorry, Hook Task is stronger. So we need good turns to like catch up and then also take over. Yeah, and what used to be a very dangerous pirate board is now almost a free win. Very hard to scale pirates, especially to beat Murlocs. That guy is emoting, so he's probably also winning. Mm, my F didn't die. Now we fight against my F. Which means I have a little bit more time. I go to six and I'm rolling. And I'm rolling more. And more. And more. And I cannot find anything. So now maybe if I was on six one time earlier, I could have done a little bit better. Do I consider freezing the Murzond? No, because I don't really expect him to play Murlocs. It says mixed, so even if he has a Murloc, it's like one or two Murlocs. So no really a point in freezing. We're just hoping we win the next fight. And we're hoping that the next turn we hit a double Megasaur turn. I don't know, we need a hell of a turn. We need like Megasaur to give us Divine Shield, Poisonous. And then we need Megasaur to give us Plants. And then maybe more plants. And then we need more Exna. And then one more Exna to replace the brand. Or, alternatively, any Murloc that does something like a Seer, Toxfin, and then you replace Bran with my Exna after you Toxfin your Seer. So, we are still a couple of cards away from a final comp. Mostly two Megazords away. Two Megazords that give us what we want. We can also have Megazord and Whiff, as we did earlier. Right, this game shows that even though Desperation um, Megasaur is sometimes good, if you can anticipate you're gonna have an easy fight, sometimes it's worth taking the risk and then just getting more value out of your Megasaur. Because as you can see, you can just miss the next two discoveries and not find it again. Think of every single Megasaur as if it's your last one. Sounds very poetic. Yeah, this should be a pretty easy fight. Especially with me attacking into his ghoul. His barn is the most uh, dangerous minion that he has. Golden Boat. Somebody was suggesting that Golden Boat and Golden Gas Coiler should instead summon three Goldens rather than summon six. Because if, if they summon 6, it's a lot of diminishing returns, you almost never have board space for it. So it's actually not that powerful. Not pretty powerful. And now without Baron, I still expect to just clean house. Yep. So yeah, now it's 1v1 against Hook Task. And we need the hell of a turn to be able to win. Are we gonna do it? Place your bet. You're good at this. Bagargle. The issue with Bagargle is that we go down to four more locks. We still have to triple it, no questions asked. But you wanna triple it and then roll for another more lock, ideally. So like you need Triple now, roll, get like a Murloc, play the Murloc, play the Gurgle, get Megasaur, sell the Megasaur, roll, get another Megasaur, play it, roll and get like my Exna. That's how you win. So, we probably won't win. <laughs> we got a Seer, but we have zero gold. We need Megasaur really badly here. No Megasaur, it's game over already. I could concede here. Megasaur Divine Plants could have done it. We have a lot of attack already, so Poisonous is less powerful. 
So divine plants, Megasaur. Maybe we had a chance. Let's see what the guy managed to do in the last two fights that he had without fighting us. Also, my ex not in the um, in the tavern. We were close. If Nadina was a Megasaur and we had three more gold, we could get there. Maybe. Could have kept the zap, maybe. Just play for more locks. Yeah. I don't know if we would have won, but we definitely had a higher chance to win if I made uh, no mistakes. Still, second place is good. Nothing to be ashamed of. Pretty good result. Um, so yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed the, this analysis. I felt like it was the most interesting in that I played last night, simply because it shows that I could have uh, done better if I wouldn't make mistakes. It shows how to push your advantage early and try to like go to tavern five and find something at five. Admittedly, I should have went a bit faster to six, looking in hindsight, but I'm very happy with how I leveled up until tavern five. I'm not the most satisfied with what minions I picked up along the way. Again, that Bronze Warden would have been good in hindsight, just even for a couple of turns. That Cannon would have been okay, or like that, that Mark I freeze. But um, yeah, if you're doing well, level up and try to play Murlocs. If you see that Murlocs are not working, try to play some sort of Menagerie, maybe go Beasts. Maybe go Dragons. There are a lot of options, you should just focus on something. Don't do what the Rafam in the lobby did and just play some random mechs. Unless you are offered a lot of really good random mechs. Like if you're offered two eggs and like two sneeds, maybe you just pick them and like hope you're super strong compared to the lobby strength and then like still manage to do something with it. I don't know. Balrance is pretty complicated and I don't think I figured it out yet. I'm doing my best every single day to improve. And this is like one of the videos that shows my uh, struggle to like get better. And um, I hope I can help you guys also learn something from it. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like. And uh, I'll do more of those um, if um, you guys want me to. Also, don't forget to subscribe. And you can also find me daily streaming on Twitch TV at RDU Live. Thank you very much for watching and uh, I hope you have a great day. See ya.